Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today I'm going to explain the Filipino horror movie called Aswang. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. Gabriel and Ania are fleeing a trio of assassins who murdered their family. The children attempt to seek assistance from their family but become disoriented along the way. They've arrived in the wrong town, one that is continuously under siege by mysterious animals. During one such attack, Hasmin, a resident of a nearby private plantation on the outskirts of town, saves them. She takes the children to Guada, a blind elderly acquaintance and foster mother, who explains the creatures to them. Abuwaks are a species of Aswang that resemble regular humans but can dig underground to attack and morph into raven-like birds. The town's crooked mayor and the Abuwax have a type of deal whereby the Abuwax give him money in exchange for keeping the town underdeveloped and uninformed, it is later revealed. Jido, Queenie, and Daniel, the three hired killers, arrive in the same town later to complete their mission. Daniel, a hesitant member because his family is being held prisoner by their boss, Eddie, encounters Hazmin, whom he occasionally runs into. Hazmin plans to smuggle the kids inside the plantation to avoid being caught by the killers. The plantation, however, turns out to be the home of the Abuwaks, and Hazmin is one of them, despite her humanity and defiance of her heritage. The hired killers then trace down the youngsters and penetrate the plantation. Queenie locates Gabriel and Anya, but she is apprehended by the Abuwaks and tortured as the children flee. Hasman is forced to devour Queenie alive by their leader Moises, but she refuses and breaks her neck in resistance. The other Abuwaks are forced to flee as Guido and Daniel confront them. Guido requests backup from Eddie, who will arrive the next day. Hasman locates Gabriel and Anya, but they are apprehended while fleeing. Moises chooses to eat the kids the next day, which happens to be Hasman's wedding day. Hasman meets with Daniel the next day to ask for his assistance in getting the kids off the property. Soon after, two Abuwaks arrive in town in search of Daniel and Guido. Hasman transforms into an Abuwak to create terror and distract the two beasts, allowing Daniel to flee and Guido to kill them. The townsfolk flee in dread of more attacks, greatly complicating the Abuwaks' situation due to their declining numbers. Guido and his expected backup storm the plantation and launch an attack. The attack allows Daniel to save Gabriel and Achnia while also causing Hasmin's wedding to be disrupted. Daniel is mortally wounded by an Abuwak pursuer during their escape, and Achnia is captured. When Hasmin arrives, Daniel, who is dying, claims he is not ready to die because he still needs to save his family from Eddie. Daniel is grudgingly turned into an Abuwak by Hasmin, the only Abuwak with the power to change people into Abuwaks. Moises, who is holding Ania captive, is then attacked by Daniel and Hasmin. They are successful in defeating him and escaping from the plantation. The Abuwaks overtake Guido and his men, but they are able to kill the majority of them. As he is being consumed, Guido commits suicide by releasing a grenade. Eddie has Daniel, Hasmin, Gabriel, and Ania cornered outside the plantation. Eddie confesses that he has already instructed some of his men to assassinate Daniel's family and that he intends to assassinate all four of them. Daniel and Hasmin morph into their Abuwak forms, assault Eddie and his henchmen, and murder them. While Daniel and Hasmin return to Daniel's hometown, Gabriel and Anya stay with Guada, 